All right, Wall Street has uh, been all about Weight Watchers, i got to tell you, over the last year. Uh, ever since my dear friend, CEO Mindy Grossman, took over in July. I'll tell you, take a look here. The stock has doubled and is up more than 300% year to date. What an incredible run. You know, a big part of that uh, is a, a switch in promotion. Instead of being all about counting points and dropping pounds, the company is focused very much on wellness, offering a more freestyle program. And of course, having Oprah as your spokesperson probably doesn't hurt either. Well, now Weight Watchers is getting in on another trend at home meal kits at supermarkets across the country. Uh, and while Mindy Grossman works on revolutionizing this 54 year old company, she has also spent a lot of her career mentoring young women, including myself. Mindy joins me right now as part of Women's History Month here on the Intelligence Report. It's so it's good always to great see to be you. Here. It's so good. You know, I met you, I want to say, well, I met you a while back because I used to interview you occasionally, but I really got to know you and Neil, your wonderful husband, and your daughter, Lizzie, probably about five years ago. Yeah, it's been great. And your, your kids as well, especially our surfboarding girls <laughs> and the other kids on vacation it's fantastic well they always talk about going to aunt mindy's house yeah. and uh, you know the carving and the pumpkins and everything that they do well, they on have Halloween. a good role model but you know mindy one of the things i've always been amazed by by you you've been certainly wonderful to me and, and given me tremendous guidance but you really reach out to women in a way that i think is so proactive so important and so critical especially nowadays but this is something you have done throughout your entire career, championed women. And I know because I've been at your home uh, at dinners with women that you've assembled and gathered. Uh, one of my very good friends now is a woman that I actually went to high school with. But you brought us together later on. And you've been all about the importance of women networking. Tell me why that is so important. I am so passionate about diversity as a whole, certainly, as a business imperative and a human imperative. And where it really began for me is when I joined Nike, and I was the most senior woman in the company, and I realized just how critical inclusion, respect, diversity was. And not only because it's a nice to have, but it is the one thing that drives innovation, it drives business strategy at the table, mm -hmm. and that diversity of thought, respect, inclusion, makes all the difference for a successful business. And what has struck me over the course of those 16, 20 years mm -hmm. is how companies today can still not be diverse, and people still want to invest in companies that are not saying, I want to be a more successful company because diversity quantitative and quali qualitatively allows for longer term business success. You've got more ideas. And in terms of, you know, I've always felt that women supporting women and even more importantly today, men supporting women and giving a seat at the table and sharing experiences and values and support is just so important. And I've made it part of my entire you know, modus operandi for doing yeah. business. But what has happened for me, mm -hmm. I have gained so much in return. So I have women who I count as friends, who I've mentored at every generation and every age. And that's how I've learned and I've gained. And I feel that has had a lot to do with my business success. And in the company that I came from and then at Weight Watchers, where I am now, we're incredibly diverse. My leadership team seven out of 12 members are women. And I have someone from France and Ireland and UK. And it's just the diversity of thought that comes to the table that allows us to have what I love, what I call productive discomfort, how to be able keep, to have those conversations. How do you keep, because you know, women have a lot of choices that they have to make in life. How is it that you retain, attract, keep these, these tremendous women that you have within Weight Watchers, but also w when I knew you at HSN, tremendous women there as well. Look, it's about belonging, inclusion, and respect. And part of respect is understanding what people go through at different life stages. And I think companies have to understand that and have the flexibility to understand what support is needed. Mm -hmm. And we have very flexible work schedules. Wow. And you know what? It makes people even more accountable because they know they can do both. They know that the company is supporting and respecting them. And that makes a huge difference. And 
it can't come from human resources, right? <laughs> the CEO has to be a role model, whatever gender you are, whatever race you are, because mm -hmm. think, you know, diversity is along a lot of platforms. You have to set the agenda and you have to be respectful and you have to make people know just how important it is to have a diverse workforce and let everyone in the company even understand elements of diversity. So if you're in a global company, right, diversity mm -hmm. may look different in different places. How you're reflecting who you are to consumers have to be diverse. Mm -hmm. And it says who you are as a brand. And today, more than ever, especially young people, really want a brand with purpose. And they want a brand that means something to them and respects them. And if you are not inclusive and you are not diverse, you're not going to attract the talent you need for the future. It's very, very, very true. And look, Mindy, you are indeed a role model to everyone there at Weight Watchers, and certainly to me, to everyone that was at HSN. You have a wonderful marriage to a wonderful man and just a beautiful daughter and granddaughter and son-in-law. So congratulations on well, everything. Well, thank you. I'm, now that I'm a, a, a grandmother, um, <laughs> this conversation around diversity and inclusion is just that much more important to me because I want her to have the future she wants and I want her to be respected at every point in her life and have her really believe that she can accomplish anything she wants. I'm with you. A thousand percent. Mindy, I would give you a thank hug. You, thank you. I, I know. Strapped in Strapped here. To anyway, the chair. It's so good. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for coming in. Mindy Grossman, everyone.